Stephen Jill here. Hi. Welcome to the Land Academy Show, entertaining land investment talk. I'm Stephen Jack Butella. And I'm Jill DeWitt, broadcasting from beautiful, sunny Southern California. Today, Jill and I talk about Land Academy versus self-starting. Really, just getting some education where no matter where you get it versus self-starting. It's Land Education Week. Yes, it is. On the podcast. <laughs> if that's not exciting, I don't know what is. <laughs> Isn't that funny? It's like, it's like when you meet people, are like, you know, hey, so what do you do? Land. Oh, well, nice yeah. talking to you. Yeah, good to see you. <laughs> do you ever sit in a class like in high school and, uh, and you're look, staring at the teacher who's about 180 years old? Yeah. And you say to yourself, how can this guy teach this stuff? Oh, this Every long. single Good year, point. So talking about the same stuff. Doesn't he algebra must, get uh, old? You know, <laughs> when you're a kid, yeah, you're like, oh, he must really be into it. But then when you get a little older, like we are, careful, you realize <laughs> it was just as painful, maybe more, for the teacher yeah. to teach that stuff and talk about it over again, just as it is for you to sit there and listen to it. So that's oh. not too far off for what's going on for us here. <laughs> I've told the kids, they're like, oh my gosh, like right now, the end of the year serious school year is coming. I can't wait. And, and I, and I tell them D- your teachers feel that way too. Cut them yeah, some slack. Exactly. If there's a movie day, there's a reason why they're sick of you too. <laughs> there's probably a heroin day. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <For> your teacher. <laughs> it's crazy. Let's take a question posted by one of our members on the landacademy.com online community. It's free. Okay. Steve asks, I'm running into limitations with my ACH provider relationship my bank is using. No recurring withdrawals for non-business re- relationships and limited list of approved banks for my buyers. Yeah. Well, that's a, that stinks. What are the other options out there that you are all using to do ACH transactions? Viewpost.com is what I'm most familiar with. I looked into Zelle, but that does not meet my needs. Thanks for any feedback on this, Steve. We use Heartland. And for, credit cards. Yeah. In, in fact, uh, I love where you're going with ACH, and I understand it, but we, um, I prefer to take credit cards for a lot of reasons. Yeah. And it's a little bit more expensive. I know. It's, true. it's actually a lot more expensive for us, uh, but it turns out we have our property priced, so we take that into consideration, so it's no big deal. Mm-hmm. And um, for just for a lot of reasons, I like it. You know, there's I, a, I think there's an extra security, a layer of security with credit cards. I think so too. Versus ACH, I, I get, I, I hear, you know. Yeah, there's chargebacks. I mean, I'm very familiar with yeah, all the pros and cons. That's. But. I'm not a huge fan. Although I hear people want ACH just because it's cheap. That's the only reason. Yeah. And I'm not a fan for going with the cheapest because the cheapest is not always the best. That's for sure. Thank you. I had to get that out. <laughs> <laughs> Like jewelry. The cheapest is not always the best. Yeah, and cars and stuff. You're absolutely right. Men, you hear that? Thank you. You know what this comes down to? <laughs> Personal preference. Yeah. So, but I would check out, um, if you go on to landinvestors.com, in upper right-hand corner, you'll see, you know, we've made a, we, we have a whole department at Heartland. If you, mm-hmm. che- if you dig down into what Heartland really is, they are the providers, the underlying, one of six providers for credit card processors in the country. But you know, and I have one more. And they have accepted and signed off on our product type. I have one more thing to say about this too. Because Steve, I think it'd be beneficial if you want to do ACH, that's great. But I would also like a credit card option because I would argue that you will have more sales if you have a credit card option. Yeah, you know what, Joe? Because not everyone has $10,000 in their bank. But... You're right. They have money coming in, whatever it is. They want that property so bad. They can put it on a credit card and they could work out the payments themselves with the credit card. So I think your sales will increase. We charge a doc prep fee. We call it a doc prep fee on every deal. Uh, it's between 200 and 400 bucks, depending on the size of the transaction, which almost always cov- more than covers the price of uh, all this stuff to combine. All these so, mm-hmm. you know, it's personal preference. But, but I, I think, I think but I, sales that will be was, higher. It wasn't sitting right with me, Joe, and you nailed it. Yep. There are people, how many times have we sold big properties on their American Express card? Lots. Right. Well, you know what? And I don't want to whip out. That doesn't happen with this. I, I personally am not an ACH person. I'm going to use even my debit card because it's a visa. We, even though it's all the same thing, everybody. I could write a check or use my debit. I feel a bit better. And I don't carry checks. And you I know, don't think about, I have to go look at my routing number and all that. If something goes wrong. I don't really like that. Here's another thing. If something goes wrong from a customer's perspective your right. customer if something goes sideways and they 
you can reverse a transaction in, in a matter of seconds. Right. With ACH, you got her on. I got to write him a of, check. Yeah. I there's a write- lot of stuff that's got to go on. So mm-hmm. I do understand your point. It's way cheaper, but, but that's it. It's way harder too. Yeah. And you, you have enough crap to worry about running a real estate company than undoing deals. Perfect. Today's top great question though. Today's topic: Land Academy versus starting uh, self-starting. This is the meat of the show. Can you imagine? <laughs> self-starting just you know we have members we have, the vast majority of the people that become happy members and stay with us forever are people who have tried to call the county and mm-hmm. received a cd in the mail packed full of the tax roll data and thrown their hands up and said this is there's no way i can do this yeah i'm out the data piece of this is too hard mm-hmm. or or that or they started with uh one of the other uh, education providers out there and they just said, you know, this is not taking me where I need to go. I need, so, Right. It's not big enough. It's not enough. When people sign up, we have a lot of people signing up. When I, My first question is, from where are they coming? Where did, where did they come? Did they come, did they just hear, hear the show and then they want to try it? Or did they do a bunch of, re- here's my favorite. They did a bunch of research. They maybe bought a list on the internet. Um, they sent a mailer out. They got a huge response. Maybe bought a property. Maybe bought two. Mm-hmm. Found out that there's more to it than this, and that you can actually make some money. And then they came to us and said, "All right, completely sold on the business model mm-hmm. and the, what's possible, but now I need to know the details." Right. That then I know there's a real good chance they're going to succeed. Right. I agree. I totally agree. So I was thinking about this, and then thinking I'd start to make a list of the land academy what what the benefits are and versus the self and i don't really have any benefits <laughs> <laughs> no benefits at no, all what i mean what what possible benefit what possible i mean honestly let's just take a step back what possible benefit can you think of give me one of doing this self-starting other than your personal satisfaction of it took me five years but I figured it out myself. <laughs> All right. I, you know what? I feel qualified to answer this because Seriously. I had actually self-started. I know. But because there was nobody out there to help you. <laughs> right. So I'm a self-starter. You yes. know, a lot of people say that, especially in interviews. Oh, I'm a self-starter. No, you're not. <laughs> here's, a, here's a profile of a self-starter. I'm going to describe myself. I call a county. I get that, that actual data set. I ordered four pizzas and two gallons get two gallons of water at the grocery store, and then I paint the windows black and I figure it out. I'll I'll go into a dark room for a week. You've seen me do this. Yes, I have. It smells lovely <laughs> too, by the way, <laughs> when you come out. <laughs> and I, uh, you know, and I'll figure it out. And when it's done, it's done. I've done websites like this and all that, and I haven't done anything like this in a couple, several years yeah, because sh- in the end, from Dad, it doesn't make any something. work. <laughs> it doesn't make it. It's not worth it. But, but a self-starter, just to prove it to myself, you know, so that's, and then, I, and I can hang my head on the fact that it costs nothing. Mm-hmm. So almost probably to my detriment. Yep. So it's the same old story. There, there are certain things you have to make, and that's data. And I'm a total data person. If you're not a data person and you don't sleep, eat and breathe, Excel and, and uh, self re- creating databases on your own, however you do it in SQL or whatever. I mean, there's no way you could do this. True. You'd have to learn all that stuff. So actually, actually, now I'm talking myself out of it. There is no benefit. You're right. Thank you. I'm trying to give me Unless you just want to like prove it to yourself. Right. But most of us have jobs and stuff. Right. There's no way you could do it then. That's the whole thing. You know, the, the, what you save, um, gosh, I mean, it's time. I was starting to think of what are the benefits that we provide to everybody in this program and what is it? Just what? Oh my gosh. Time savings, check. Money savings, gosh, that's easy. Less mistakes, check. You know, it's not even so much the education, which is, I think, fantastic. It's that tools like Parcel Fact and O2O and all of that. Go ahead. That's exactly where I was going with that. So, so we got time, we got money, insight. You know, gosh, the the whole theory and the concept and really understanding it and everything, that's included. How about our online community? How about a group of people? that are all doing the same thing with you that you can talk to about these questions every single day. The minute they come up, you have an answer because somebody's already done it and been there. So Those people are logical buyers too of the mm-hmm. property you buy. Huh? Our community, cheap data and mail. I mean, come on. 
what do, what the, do you really want to go try to you can't do that on your own right all this stuff is all because of it's a group of us and it's cheaper and then what you just were covering too the unique tools that we've created just right. for land people like parcel fact and deed perfect and some other ones and o2o offers owners exactly it's just like wow that's a real value for me it's those tools like i, agree. I mean I can't imagine even doing what we do right now without personal facts specifically. Yeah. That, that there's a few that was a game changer and that was one yeah. big one, man. You know, I'll it used to you. be that you'd have to go find these properties. It's hard. And some of them, remember we used to have to get it. We were on earth point and we were using, yeah. I mean, literally finding the meridian of the city. Baseline yeah, meridian. I've known, I've done this. Yep. And then I'm looking at it and it's funny because. And then you really don't know if it's, if you, you did it right. don't. You're looking at it going, <laughs> okay, look at the map. Okay, look at this, like, looks like a wash. Does that look the same to you? It looks no. the same to me. And see this road here? It's the same yeah. road name. I think I've got it. First effects. And that's what's so funny. And you're like, okay. And all we have was you know, what we think of where it is, right? We're staring at it, but you can't be 100% sure where the boundaries exactly are. And oh my goodness. Yeah, personal fact takes a whole mystery out of it. And then actually think about doing a mailing without O2O. Do you know what's so cool about personal doing fact? A ma- Go ahead. I got to tell you something really cool. This is something people don't know. Uh, I mean, it's, it's this is silly, but this is how excited I get about it. When you're looking at parcel pack and you're looking at a property, you scroll all the way down to the bottom in the bottom right, you have all the GPS coordinates for every single little every point. Corner, corner point. Point, and there might be twenty of them. It's not just four corners. It's like because it's you go from here to here to here. You literally could go with your t- cell phone and those coordinates and stand there and stake your own property right. if you wanted to. That's right. Which is People so do. darn cool. I know. That's amazing. When I you think know. About that. That's what I'm trying to say. What a game changer. You know, it's like, I don't even have to, if I really want to, I could go out there with some stakes and a red ribbon and mark out my own property. Right. And feel good about it. Yeah. Like, it's so it takes it out, I don't know, cool. like eight or 10 decimal digits. It's amazing how cool that is. So. Yeah, I'm glad we're doing this education week because yeah. we take the, I don't, we don't take it for granted, but we just don't think about how amazing it, the whole system really is. Yeah, we haven't really shared it. You know, it's like, gosh. I'm doing a huge mailer right now, almost 40,000 units. Uh, you probably don't even know this, Joe, but, and I'm really working with O2O, which is, I'm the owner of the company. <laughs> And I'm f- realizing how valuable it is, how helpful it is, really is, because all I need to do is put the data together and provide the document, and they t- they take it from there. Mm-hmm. It used to be that it would take me a whole weekend to do a mailer. Yeah. And then, you know, if you don't line it up right, yep. If it's one line off, you're sending the wrong offer for the wrong property to a, the wrong owner. Right. So it takes well, that all can that stuff out of that. If you have one line off and you send it that way, that could happen. You could send out 40,000 wrong mailers. Right. Which I've done. Right. <laughs> and spent the so following two weeks So you need to make sure your data is good. I, gotta, I, have to just, <laughs> I have to stand up for O2O offers to owners and just say that. You got to make sure your columns don't, you don't miss one line in one column or one little box in one column. Yeah. So, because that, so I don't know where you pulled your data. <laughs> <laughs> so... So, but, I mean, self-starting, you can do it, but why? Yeah. I, I really don't have any, I don't have any, any positive good thing. It's not, you're not saving money. No, you're wasting money. I yeah. think that's the next show. You're not saving time. It is the real cost of not educating yourself. Okay. This is, if you don't get education up front. Right. You're, it's like driving. If you get into a car and teach yourself to drive on uh, the 405, you're going to get into an accident. How much is that going to cost? So what was the cost of education there, you know? Yeah. I'm trying to think what else. Can you think of any any business or any industry or anything that you would want to? Self-start. Uh-huh. So I've been thinking about that. Like, where does self-start really rewarding? And you and I alluded to it. You and I in a total conversation off the air earlier said this to each other about an unrelated topic. This stuff is easy for us. Oh. It's not easy for everybody. Oh. Dealing with That's staff. That's a good point. Dealing with staff and um, people and customers and systems and websites and uh, the tech a level of tech that's mm-hmm. involved in all of this. For whatever reason, it comes natural to both of us. And for some people, it's like pulling teeth. 
It's and true. certain parts of it are still like pulling teeth with me, but for the in general, we make it work. I am both uh, with the academy Porsche companies and with our actual real estate companies. So that is even a bigger argument for not self-starting. Right. And unless you have a crazy personality that is re- like, let's say Steve Jobs, okay, or uh, Bill Gates or or some of the the name brand entrepreneurs that are out there who are just hardwired. Mm -hmm. They are hardwired to self-start and like create brands. Mm -hmm. Unless you're one of those people, I'm not sure it makes sense to self-start anything. Go ahead. You know what? When you really think about it though. Just raised your hand like she's in the classroom. That way I knew you know I have something to say. (laughs) I do think of all of our members though as some version of self-starters. They're just self-starters doing it right. You know, because they really are, when you think about it, this is not a franchise. This, this, is, this is just us sharing, this is we, us sharing our business model. And you take it, and you own it, and you do it however it works for you. So really, I mean, our, especially our most successful members, they are self-starters. They said, you know what, I got it now. I took your thing and I tweaked it, and this is my thing, and I'm killing it over here. Yep. You know, and this is what I, how I do it, how I work it. So there's a version of that. Almost, you have yeah. to, you have to be in the self-starter mindset, even yeah. by the way, to even find us. First that's right. All. That's right. You're looking for something. You're obviously, you know, there's something out there. You're day, you're right. not a union person or whatever you want to be. Right. Your nine to five job is not cutting it. You're looking for something else. Or maybe you said, I mean, by leaps and bounds, the most successful people that are in our group have already self-started something and realize that there's more. That's true. Maybe they flipped a house and they did it wrong and they're like, oh, this got to be an easier way. Right. Or uh, they own a drugstore mm-hmm. and, and and it's profitable, but it's just not getting them where, you, where they want to be. Mm-hmm. Or on and on and on. Exactly. Online, a lot of online, people who sell stuff on the internet, eBay and Amazon and things like that, seem to find us. And I think it's because what they're looking for is something that's more profitable to uh, sell online to roll into their business. Like land is mm-hmm. crazy, crazy profitable. 100% to 200% profit margins. That's true. You know, versus like consumer electronics, which is 3 to 5% probably. Exactly. And you don't have to worry about where the next shipment's coming from. Yep. So self-starting, Land Academy is a very logical extension of after you've self-started and you realize there's more. Perfect. I could not have said it better. Well, you've done it again. You spent another almost 20 minutes again listening to the Land Academy show. Join us tomorrow for another interesting episode where we discuss the real cost of not educating yourself first. This is going to be fun. (laughs) And we answer your questions posted on our online community found off of landacademy.com. Go there. It's free. You are not alone in your real estate ambition. Yeah. Isn't that funny? I was trying to think. I started my little list. I put Land Academy on one side and self-starting on the other. And I realized as I'm writing things down, on the Land Academy side, it's all positives. And on the (laughs) self-starting side, it's all negatives. And then I went, okay, wait a minute, wait a minute. There has to be one positive on the self-start guide. And all I can, I can't find one other than self, other than the satisfaction of I figured it out myself. (laughs) Slash, however, how can you be as good as a couple hundred people and all of what, all of our mistakes combined yeah. and all of the things that we've learned combined? And There's no in. way. You know, what we never talk about it's just Land Investors itself, the website, yeah. which is an, a community, online community. <laughs> There's say, people buy tri- property through there. You're, yeah. It's a built in uh, audience for you know, selling right. property. There's deals. People don't know that the deals are going on in the background right on that site. Right. Yeah. Read your list. Just read the words. Like, right, if you're comfortable doing that. My Land Academy side? Okay. On the Land Academy side, I put time, money, insight, community, cheap data and mail, unique land tools. Yeah, it's not going to be cheaper anywhere else either. We didn't even say that. And on the self side, I stopped with learning curve and mistakes. (laughs) 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 Oh, yeah, I'm out. I don't know. I'm like, I don't want to make this a big little, you know, whatever negative thing, but I don't know. Right. So, hey, share the fun by subscribing on iTunes or wherever you're listening. And while you're at it, rate us there. We We are Stephen Jill. Information. And inspiration. To buy undervalued property.